Hello, what we're going to do, we're, this is a follow up video from my Dell Dimension um, 2400. As we're going to see, I'm going to show you how to install a driver using Windows. Well, what we're going to do is install the graphics driver on Windows 7 because we've just installed Windows 7 on this. As we're going to see, I'm going to show you how to do it. But it's going to be a bit tricky, but I'll try. So we're going to find our, we're going to put out, where is our driver anyway? It's on my key USB stick. So drivers, Windows 7, all different ones, damage. To. So what we're going to do, we're going to right click our mouse button on this and go to properties. And where it says compatibility, click on that, run this program service pack free. It gives you a bunch of options, but I know someone said service pack two, but we're going to try service pack free because that's what it was last running. Then we run this program as an administrator. Oh shit. No fucking. Hang on, if we see. Oh, hang on a minute. I'm just going to pause it a second. Right, I'm back. Right, what I have to do here is I have to override the toll bar. So what? This is going to be a bit. It can be done. Right. See, there's an OK button there. So because it keeps doing that, or our tab button. Tab. Oh God. Right, it's there. Down, down, down. Run. So I suppose push it once more. No. Hang on a minute. I think that's worked. So we're going to install it and see what happens. Yes. Better bloody work. So we go, yes. Well, I think we've got to do the same thing with the sound card, but I've got to find a sound card for it yet. Yeah, sound driver, rather. I've actually got a Sound Blaster Live in there, but I don't know if there's any Windows 7 drivers for it. So, might have to take that out and use the onboard sounds, which ain't really a problem. It's not like I hardly use this computer anyway. What's this shit? Uh, yes, I installed, so I presume it's installed. So we're install, restart the computer and see what happens. See if it actually does work. Bloody hope so. So, just wait for it to do all its stuff. Configure in the files, well, shutting down. But being an old relic of a computer, it will take ages, especially if it's running Windows 7. I mean, I've got this, oh, I don't know where I've had it. A couple of years, I think, I've had this computer. I acquired it from somewhere. I don't know if I paid any, I don't I feel I found it. Well, someone was giving it away, so I took it off his hands, so. Basically it was a free computer, so I wouldn't spend money doing anything with this. I've left the disc in there, I should take the disc out, because I've just reinstalled. Ah, oh, bloody hell. Take the, take the thing out, and take the disc out. The graphic size, start. Let's reset it. So it should work now. So take the disc out, bloody hell. Right, disc's coming out. Let's see what happens. Let's see if it actually works. See, I think that's a bit strange. It looks like the Vista loading thing. It's probably down to the graphics card. You know, it ain't gonna be, you ain't gonna get the Aero or nothing like that. It's just gonna be a basic graphics card. It's not gonna be nothing fancy, so you can't really play, no way you can play games on it, modern games, because you ain't got the 3D. You ain't got the 3D, so 
It's just a basic standard VGA card. So Ooh, the arrow, the, the mouse point is smaller, so it's definitely work. Yeah, wow, excellent! It has worked, and that is brilliant. So, so I probably might keep this on Windows Seven. Let's we'll see how it goes. Yeah. So we'll just do a confirm. We install is just. It's taking a bit of time here. Sure. Yeah. Just wait till it loads up, I suppose. Here we go, and we go to the device manager. Um, let's just confirm. And here we go. Display adapters. Here we go. Bloody Intel 8284. Uh, yeah, all that bollocks, basically. Yeah. So that just that confirms it works and brilliant. And this is the end of the video now. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my channel. Till next time, goodbye.